Hey, it's Steve from Tower Genius. I want to do a really quick video. Um, we were recently approached by a property owner uh, from the Carolinas that um, sounded like they were working with a cell tower developer, someone claiming to be a cell tower developer. Not just them, but it sounded like many people from their community, uh, potentially hundreds of people. Um, and again, I, I can't verify this because uh, I don't know yet, but it sounded like a lot of people have paid this developer a lot of money to potentially get a tower built or towers built in the community. Uh, but, you know, the whole thing, you know, it just, it just stinks to high heaven because if you are trying to get a cell tower built on your land uh, by a developer, right? This is, this is not where you're going out and soliciting something. If a, if a developer knocks on your door and they want to put a tower on your land, they're going to present with a lease agreement. Uh, you know, there's a whole process that you have to go through um, and they pay for all the expenses. They go to the city, the municipality, apply for permits, um, architectural plans, studies, all that. The property owner should have exactly zero expenses except for, you know, if you, if you hire an attorney or you work with a consultant, et cetera, uh, to help, you know, make sure that, you know, the, the contracts are done correctly. Or if you hire a structural engineer to make sure that they're their plans are, you know, you just want someone double checking the work of Verizon or AT&T, et cetera. But under no circumstances should you be having out-of-pocket expenses if, if you're approached by a cell tower developer to have a, a tower erected uh, at, your, at your land, at your property. So if you have a, an experience and if you've been, um, if you feel you've been scammed by somebody, I, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Uh, and please be respectful. Obviously, I don't want to single out a company. I, I, I know who the specific um, complaint was made against. And, you know, I told this property owner, look, if you've got an issue, go to your district attorney, go to your sheriff. If you feel like you're, you're being fraud, defrauded or there's a scheme to defraud a bunch of people, um, if, your gut telling is, if your gut is telling you that it seems fishy, that this person's a crook potentially, well, you know, go to the authorities, let them look into it. Um, you know, there's no reason for property owners to be paying for studies and for all these other costs that a tower developer would incur. It's just not how it's done.